NPS for PowerPoint is a separate piece of software that can be downloaded from our website free of charge. This approach will allow you to create new question slides for older presentations or brand new presentations with CPS question slides built in. CPS for PowerPoint places a CPS toolbar into Microsoft PowerPoint and is compatible with PowerPoint 2003 and 2007. For this video, I'll be using PowerPoint 2007. Open CPS for PowerPoint by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop. This is the only way to get the CPS toolbar in Microsoft PowerPoint. Click on the Office button and New to create a new presentation, or click on the Office button and Open to open an existing presentation you wish to edit. If you are using PowerPoint 2003, you may use the File menu instead. To create a question slide, click on the CPS menu, then on Insert Question. A new slide is added that reflects the format of the question you selected. Enter your question in the Enter Question Here text box. Then type in your answer options in the Options text boxes. Once you've entered your answer options, you will need to select the correct answer. Click on the red X next to the correct answer. This will change it to a green check mark. Continue creating new PowerPoint slides or CPS question slides until you are finished. Be sure to save your presentation. Before you deliver your presentation to your class, make sure your CPS database is open and running in the background. That way the results will be stored. To do this, click the Open CPS Database button on the CPS toolbar and select your database from the drop-down menu. Or click Open Database, navigate your computer to select the database from wherever you have it saved, and click Open. It is important to note that any presentation edited or created within CPS for PowerPoint must be delivered through CPS for PowerPoint. Do not import into or deliver through the regular CPS software. To deliver the presentation to your class, open it as you normally would. The verbal question setup window will open. You can choose to have grades automatically saved to the gradebook, have results automatically saved to an Excel file, Use anonymous mode so responses are not tied to specific students. Enter a session title, a session category, the maximum point scale, the appropriate class roster, and even have CPS generate an attendance record based on this assessment. Once you're ready to begin, click OK. The presentation will open on the screen with the CPS Verbal Engage toolbar at the bottom of the screen. When the slide contains a CPS question, there will be an additional button on the CPS toolbar labeled Engage. Click Engage to allow your students to respond to the question slide. Click Start to begin the question and End to close the question. To navigate to a different slide, click the Close Question Window button at the bottom left-hand corner. This takes you back to the Engage toolbar and will allow you to navigate through the presentation. To end the presentation, click Close from the Engage toolbar. This concludes the training video for CPS for PowerPoint.